So this week we also discussed the propulsion. And we've learned that the force of the propulsion, the thrust force, can be calculated by multiplying the mass flow times the exit speed minus the original intake speed if we are talking about an uh, air breathing engine. And otherwise, if it's about a rocket engine, it's simply the mass flow times the exit speed. This goes for any propulsion system, so also for a water rocket, which we've got here. Well, the water rocket is in fact just a bottle uh, which is one and a half liters, which uh, we filled halfway with water. So about 750 gram of uh, water is in the bottle. And we will then increase the pressure of the air through a, a cork with a valve, which is in the, uh, in the bottle. And then when the pressure is really high, the cork will be expelled and the water will be ejected out of the, the bottle. And this will generate the thrust force through which the rudder rocket will uh, be launched. If you're going to try this yourself, be warned that it's, uh, uh, it can be really dangerous because initially the weight is quite high and it can really take off with a high speed. So uh, it, you can really get hurt if you're uh, above the actual water rocket at the moment of the launch. So make sure you're always uh, sufficiently uh, away from the, uh, from the water rocket when you do this. Except for launching the water rocket, uh, the real challenge is to estimate the altitude of the water rocket. So before you launch it, try to calculate, make a model, uh, do some calculations to see how high it, uh, it can get. And you will need a number of things for it which you, uh, which you uh, already know. For instance, if you, if you can estimate the amount of time it takes from, from for instance, this, this video clip for the water to exit the bottle, then, uh, or measure this for your own flight, then you can calculate the average mass flow out of the bottle. Also, with the volume of the water and the opening of the bottle, you can estimate the speed with which it uh, is being uh, emitted. And this allows you to, to estimate uh, a, 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 the thrust force. Also, if you have measured the altitude, perhaps with a triangular setup, uh, you can reverse engineer some of these parameters. You can linearize and, and use an average, but in reality, of course, the gas inside the bottle obeys the gas law. And you could also make a model in a script, Python script or, or Java or something, to simulate what happens when the water bottle is, uh, is launched. But let's, uh, let's see uh, what this water bottle does and maybe you can time how long it takes for the water to exit and try to estimate the, uh, the, the, the altitude that we reach with this water bottle. So I'm going to increase the pressure now of the air to launch it. So that's the challenge for this week. Try to build your own water rocket, make a model to calculate the altitude and see how well you can get it to match the reality.